Welcome to Swindale. Today I'm here to show you a fabulous property which has been completely renovated by the current owner. Now just behind me here you can see we've got a superb four bedroomed farmhouse. The current owners have extended it into the attached barn creating some magnificent living space. We've got a great open plan kitchen dining lounge. Really extending the space making this property a beautiful large family home. Now as you can see behind me we sit in a very rural location. We've got beautiful views all around us and as I pan around I'm just going to show you that we've got some great crags just on one side and then we've got some fell side on the other. We're in the heart of the Swindale Valley here so we're around two miles away from Horswater, a short distance away from um, Shap, from Bampton, from Ascombe, in a fabulous location. You've got walks on the doorstep. We've got the sound of a trickling beck to the rear and beautiful gardens which we'll go and explore shortly but this is a super property. It's completely renovated to an extremely high standard. Each of the fixtures and fittings within this home are um, of the highest quality and this is ready to move in to. Let me take you around and show you the street scene first of all and then we'll take you around this wonderful home. Okay so I've just brought you onto the street scene just to show you the dramatic landscape that's all around us here. The road ahead of us takes us up um, through the valley and then out towards Bampton and Shap and then as we pan around this um, road here leads up just to Trust Gap House which is the house we bring into the market and to one further farm. There is a footpath which leads up here which takes people up to um, up and over the old Corpse Road to the Swindale waterfalls and to Hawes Water. So this is a popular walking route and I'm not surprised as you can see this landscape is just absolutely superb. Now Truscap House has the benefit of some small outbuildings which we'll explore towards the end. You've got one here to the left, we've got a nice parking area um, and a couple of outbuildings at either side of the, um, of the back door there. But this is the home that's coming to the market. You can see it's a very good looking property. We've got the barn here that was converted and then we extend into the farmhouse, which is the white part. We've got an area of parking to the front of the house here. And then as we extend up, there's a gate that gives us access round into the back garden. So this is Truscap House. Let me take you in and show you around this fabulous home. Okay, so I'm just gonna fetch you in um, the door here into this great and impressive boot room, stroke utility room. So here you can see this um, has been recently added and you've got a lovely bean ceiling there with a utility room space, space perfect for coats and boots and a really good um, space for when you live in a place like this, you want to be able to take your boots and your coats and your wellies off without coming in um, to, the, to the main living spaces. Behind the cabinets there, we've got housing for a washing machine and just a little bit further along the hallway here, we've got a pantry, stroke storage, stroke drying room. So we've got a nice radiator in there, perfect for all those bits and pieces you need when you live in this area. On this side of the house, we've also got a, a bathroom. So this is a really modern and stylish bathroom. So you'll see throughout this home, we've got a really nice mix of modern and contemporary yet traditional in age, um, in keeping with the age of the house. So we've got a ground floor bathroom here, really use, useful. And then we're gonna go just a little bit further back here and I want to show you these lovely features. Throughout this home we've got lots of nice features. Here we've got mezzanine level openings which were original windows um, onto the landing upstairs. So we've got nice stone shelving and a space just to use as a feature. It brings the light into the house as well. Then we've got the inner hallway. So this we come through and we've got a beautiful candy and floor in here and a doorway which leads us straight out to the back of the house and this is where we've got some really dramatic and magnificent views here so we've got a nice hallway we've got plenty of room for it to be used as a little seating area if you wish and a staircase which leads up to the first floor now this is really quirky one of my favorite parts of the house the vendors painted this wooden staircase in the names of all of her favorite books which adds a really personal um, and stylish um, addition to the staircase so i'm going to take you next into the lounge now all the rooms in this property are of good proportions we've got a really beautiful a light filled yet cozy room we've got an impressive fireplace there and a large room with dual aspect 
windows which lead out to the rear. Now from here you can see that dramatic fell line, it's a little bit wet today but you can see the fells in the distance there and your garden just extends into the fell line. We've got great beam ceiling, yet we've got some good ceiling height so the ceilings aren't too low yet the spaces are very big. Then I'm going to take you into my favourite part of this house. So this is a converted barn which the vendors have lovingly renovated and made into such a magnificent open plan space. We've got a very stylish kitchen here, we've got a lovely vaulted beam ceiling, we've got a mezzanine level um, lounge come dining room and we've even got steps that go down to an undercroft which has got further development potential. So this kitchen is absolutely wow. As we walk around I'll just show you it in detail. So it's from Webs of, of, of Kendall, so a local supplier and all the trade that have been used in the renovation of this barn are all local people. There's a beautiful um, granite work surface there, we've got an arger, we've got integrated fridge freezer and dishwasher there, beautiful views out of the window again and a really large island unit with storage on one side and seating on the other. We've also got a great pantry cupboard. Then look at this window, so this is absolutely superb. It takes us out to the front of the property and you've got views in the opposite direction as well. So this is the kitchen space. Now the current vendors um, have left this space open here but there is plenty of space here if you wanted to have a dining room. They go up this oak staircase onto the mezzanine level which again is um, supplied by a local supplier and they've got a really large dining table here which shows you the scale of the room. We've got places for a large settee We've got a fabulous beam ceiling and we've got all um, modern features as well. So we've got lots of power points here. We've got an integrated sound system and just some superb family living spaces here. We've got windows, which again take in that fabulous view. And then as I pan around, just look at the size of this room. It really is something quite special. The vendors have put a lot of effort and a um, lot of love into the renovation of this house. You can see that we've even got nice little feature windows there. Lots of original features and lots of original materials have been used in the renovation of this property. So coming down the staircase, we've got a doorway which leads out to the back there, which we'll go out later on. Um, and then we've got a staircase which is using some original stone flag flags from a, another Cumbrian farmhouse down to an area which is very useful. So we've got an undercroft space here which has got radiators, it's got power lighting, it's got a doorway which leads out to the garden. So this is space that's got further development potential if you're looking to maybe put your own stamp on a home. This one is completely finished by this point um, but currently used for storage and it would be perfect if that's what you wanted to use it for. Although it has got potential if you wanted to convert it into something different. Just look at this kitchen, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm now going to take you through the rest of the ground floor um, because there's a room which we haven't touched on yet which is just at the other end. So you've got a um, beautiful lounge here as you've seen. Coming through into the inner hallway. And then we've got this room here, which is a really large room. Again, it's currently used as a study or a snug, but it's got the potential to be bedroom number four. In here, we've got bespoke fitted wardrobe, um, sorry, not wardrobes, bookshelves, which could quite easily be converted into wardrobes if you wanted to use this as a bedroom. We've got a lovely wood burning stove and a really homely feeling here with this beautiful wooden flooring. So this has got potential if you're looking for another reception room or if you're looking for a ground floor bedroom, this is a great option for you to have. So now just going up onto the first floor, so going up this sub super staircase, nice painted wooden bookshelves there, onto the landing and this is where you can see the shelving and the mezzanine level that we saw earlier and it's just looking down, this is down onto the kitchen, um, sorry this utility room and then another one here as well. Okay, so on the first floor, we've got three good-sized bedrooms, and the first is this master bedroom, which is a really large room. 
We've got dual aspect windows looking out onto both sides of the property in a really good size double room. We've got a wall of fitted wardrobes and plenty of space in here. And again, I'm just going to bring you out to show you the, the view. We look down onto the garden space. So a really good size double room. Behind the doorway there, we've just got a cupboard, which is an original cupboard, which has got um, space for shoes in there. And then along the hallway, we've got bedroom number two. So this is a great room, again, with another storage cupboard, um, which is really useful for storage. A small double room, but currently used as a single. We've got a small space behind the alcove here, perfect for a desk or a dressing table. And again, as you can see, every view out of every window is quite special. It's ever changing. So the views here and the landscape is so dramatic, it will change on a on a hourly basis. This is bedroom number three. So we've got a good size double room here. And then finally, we've got the family bathroom. So throughout this home, we've got really good quality fixtures and fittings and the bathroom suites are all Burlington. Everything's really high quality and this room is no exception. So we've got a nice freestanding bath. We've got a hand basin, a high level WC, which you don't see very often. And again, not to obscure the view, we've just got the first panels obscured and then the second window there is um, is clear to look out. So a good size family bathroom. So this is a superb property. I'm now going to take you outside um, and show you around the outside spaces and let you see what, um, what you can enjoy because we've got some great features out there too. There's lots of further potential. So if you're looking for a, a property that's got some outhouses maybe to convert subject to planning, then we've maybe got options here for you. The best way to get outside is just to come through the lounge into the kitchen and then I'll take you out of the door here which takes us into the garden space. Okay so this is us coming out of the back door from the kitchen. Look at the spectacular views here. So we've got a nice area of lawn and a garden and a plot which extends to about a quarter of an acre and as you can see just this dramatic crag in the distance. You've got walks literally on the doorstep and that extends all the way down. And you can see the beck running down through the valley. So I'm gonna take you around the garden in order. So just coming along the path here, there's a gate at the far end, which takes us round and access it into the, um, back to the, um, the lane at the front. We've got some nice raised beds here with some established trees. And the garden, as you can see, is mainly laid to lawn. So we've got some nice seating areas. But as I walk across to the wall from here, you can see the garden just extends into open countryside. And you've got the beck there with a nice trickle of water in the distance. We're in a very elevated position. So this is the house from the back. Trust Gap House. And what a very special property it is as you've already seen throughout the video so we've got a nice area of a seating area here nice patio we've got some raised beds which are perfect to um to grow veg and to grow fruit if you're wanting to um be self-sufficient and from here the gardens extend around to more flower beds just on the left hand side and then the garden boundary is just that um, wire and post fence there, which takes us round here to an area where there is a greenhouse. So down the gravel path, we've got a greenhouse just to the left here. And we've got an outbuilding, which here is perfect. If you're looking for some storage space for paddle boards or canoes or something similar or bikes, maybe. But this has maybe got more development potential. So if you're looking for maybe to create maybe an Airbnb or a bunkhouse or something similar, this is quite a, a good opportunity. And um, taking advantage of all the walks um, that are on the doorstep, then this might be something that could bring you a small income. So this is the view from here and what a super property. Your garden extends into the countryside and it really makes you feel like you're living in um, a rural landscape, but you've got a beautiful home too. too. So then finally, just gonna take you out to the parking area again. So from here, 
we've got a door which takes us into the undercroft and two further out buildings here perfect for storage so this is a super property if you're looking to be um, within a rural yet very dramatic landscape so if you're looking for a home like this, um, a fully renovated, beautiful home in a rural yet accessible location, then this may be the one for you. Please do give us a call on 01768 88 1111 and we'd be happy to help you.